Okay, so I uh, find more vertical asymptotes. It's still just setting the denominator equal to zero. Now this one's going to be a bit of a bit of a pain here. Uh, it's set up like a difference of two perfect squares, but it's not difference of two perfect squares. So I'm not sure which would be the best way to solve this. I'm going to do it both ways, and you kind of look at it. So typically, when you have a squared like this, you can move the number to the other side. And whenever you have like I don't know what number it was, it was way up towards stuff like number two or something. Um, and I, I split it up by factoring it. You don't have to do it that way when it's like this. You can always do this right here, even if it was a perfect square. And then you take the square root. And then, But the issue is, whenever we take the square root as part of an equation, we did this, and again, I don't remember exactly when it was. I think it was when we were solving um, for imaginary, imaginary solutions in things, which was kind of a very minor topic. I talked about the fact that when you take a square root as part of an equation, you need to always have a plus minus in there. So x equals plus minus radical 2. Um, if you did it the other way, you would have to factor this. And most of you would probably not think to do this because 2 is not a perfect square. But I can still factor this like I normally would. Even though it's not a perfect square, I can take square root of 2 and put it in here with a plus and a minus in each one. And then this is going to give me x equals square root of 2. This is going to give me x equals negative square root of 2, which is the same answer I just got. So even if it's not difference of two perfect squares, you can still do it. Um, it still works. It's just that you normally wouldn't factor it that way. All right, so probably most of you would go with this route right here if you were going to actually solve this. But you can do it the other way, too. It does work. It just looks weird uh, because we normally wouldn't factor something like that.